Dynamics AX 2012 provides PowerShell commandlet support to enable administrators to manage AX users. In this video, we will look at how users can be created in Dynamics AX and how the security membership can be managed. The PowerShell commandlets become available by selecting the option to install the management utilities during setup. Once installed, they can be accessed in the following manner. Click on Start, Administrative Tools, and look for the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Management Shell. Right-click on this option and select the option to run as administrator. This launches a PowerShell 2.0 command window and loads the appropriate binaries that contain the functionality for the PowerShell commandlets. In this example, we will take a look at how a Dynamics AX administrator can create a new AX user. You can see that the new AX user PowerShell commandlet is being utilized to perform this operation. The PowerShell commandlet has returned successfully. Now let us take a look at this user in the Dynamics AX client. We can see that the user was created with the specified parameters. Additionally, the user is in the default company and is in an enabled state. Once the user has been created, the user can be assigned to a security role using PowerShell commandlets as well. Let us take a look at that example. We can use the add AX security role member PowerShell commandlet to assign a user to a given role. In this case, there are two parameters in question. One is the AX user ID of the user and the second is the AOT name for the role. In this example, we are assigning the user to the accountant role. If you now view the user's record in the AX client, you can notice that in addition to the system user role, he has also been assigned the accountant role. If the administrator decides to disable the user, he or she can do that by executing the following commandlet, disable AX user. In the new AX user commandlet, you notice that one of the parameters is called account type. The possible values for this account type are Windows user, Active Directory group user and Claims user. Dynamics AX 2012 supports multiple types of users, which is reflected in this parameter. The example we saw was that of a Windows user. You could, however, also add an entire Active Directory group as a user. Claims user is part of the flexible authentication functionality that allows a user to access the AX system without requiring an Active Directory account. In this case, the domain of the user is the name of the SharePoint trusted identity provider that the user is authenticated with. For example, if the enterprise portal site is using Live ID based authentication and the trusted identity provider for the Live ID authentication is called FM Live ID provider, a user can be created in the AX system as follows. We will execute the commanded new AX user with the account type parameter set to claims user. Let us look at the details of the user in the AX client. You will notice that the type of the user is set to claims user. Note that for all of this to work, the enterprise portal must be set up for flexible authentication. We have a bevy of PowerShell commandlets that enable configuring that. Another variation to adding a claims user through the PowerShell commandlet comes in the form of a form space authentication user. AX 2012 supports the configuration of form space authentication using ASP.NET SQL membership providers. In this commandlet, we are able to add a form space authentication user to a pre-configured ASP.NET SQL membership provider. At the same time, we are the same user to the Dynamics AX 2012 system. In addition to the commandlets that allow you to add AX users to the system, there are also certain commandlets that allow you to retrieve information about the users as well as the security rules. For example, the get AX user commandlet retrieves the information associated with a particular AX user. 
To know more about the functionality of any commanded, the administrator can choose the Get Help option within PowerShell. In this case, we are looking at examples associated with the new AX user commandlet. In this video today, we have seen how an administrator can use AX PowerShell commandlets to add different types of users to an AX system and also configure the security. PowerShell commandlets in AX 2012 allow AX administrators great flexibility in administering the system.